Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the garage. Today we got a good one for you. Uh, we're going to find out exactly how quiet and luxurious these Ram cabs are. Uh, it's a 5th gen and I have been absolutely astounded with how quiet and just how sort of nice it is in here. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos online showing you know what the decibel reading is um, inside the cab. What we're going to do is do a couple of things differently. We're going to do something similar today. We're going to get on the freeway, do a 70 mile an hour run uh, at, you know, with, with the decibel meter. We got one of those guys here. We're going to get on the freeway to see how that works. Um, we're going to have the air conditioning off, radio off, and we're going to do a couple passes, cruise control on 70 miles an hour. We're going to get off the freeway and do a couple of passes at 40 miles an hour. And we're going to see just exactly what that sound level is. And we're going to come back, and just so we have something to compare it to, we're gonna hop in uh, my brother's car. He drives a, a 2016 Mazda CX-5, I believe. And that is gonna be sort of our stand-in for a typical you know, passenger vehicle and see where this big heavy-duty Cummins engine stands. And then lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop out and get a recording of engine noise in the hood and exhaust noise at the tip. And remember, this truck is stock, his car is stock, we're gonna see just exactly how good the sound deadening is by comparing the noise that the Cummins makes up front and at the, at the tailpipe um, to what we hear inside. When we do those tests, we're gonna rev the engine up to mirror the same revs that we have at 70 and at 40. So we're gonna go ahead and get on the road and uh, we'll start filming once we're out there. All right guys, we are about to get on the freeway. As I said a minute ago, we're gonna get up to speed. Uh, set the cruise control to 70 and then take a look at the sound over the following 10 seconds and see exactly how it peaks. So we'll get on up to speed here. All right, we are almost there. Let's get one more on the cruise control, okay. We have the air conditioning off, the radio off. We'll all shut up here and uh, see exactly what the uh, sound is. All right, what do we got? What did it look like? Well, I see about a 72 on the road noise, 72, 71. Um, you actually bumps and, and uh, suspension impacts really up the noise there. I'd say average driving noise about 68, but suspension noise bumps and on the road looking at 62. Okay, all right, good test. We'll hop off the freeway, come back on a surface street, and uh, see what that looks like and if it's uh, a little bit quieter. Hey guys, we are going now 40 miles an hour on the cruise control, so let's shut up and get a good result. Uh, what we get over there? We're looking at between uh, 58 and 62 decibels. Uh, this is again, this is suspension noise. The impacts and the road noise was actually a lot louder than okay, just okay. cruising along. So 58, 62, and the highway was 72. So it was 72. So yeah. So what we're gonna do is go back home, swap cars, swap vehicles, hop in the Mazda CX-5, sort of the standard sedan, head back out on the road, and see what that gets. And then once we're all done, we're gonna open the hoods of each car and see, you know, what the uh, the noise is from the engine bay and at the, at the tailpipe um, at those RPM levels. For the truck, 70 miles an hour is about 1,600 RPM, 1,700 RPM. At 40 miles an hour, it's about 1,100, 1,200. So we're gonna take a look at that, uh, those RPM levels, get the noise there. But also, uh, before that, we're gonna hop back out uh, on the road here in the Mazda. All right, guys, we are in the Mazda now, hopping on to the same section of road. And again, we're gonna get up to the exact same speed. So as soon as we get up to speed, we're gonna start recording and uh, take a look at this uh, gauge here. So, see we're at uh, 50, 60, get as close to 70 as we can and then set cruise. Section, we're going to hop over, get on the get on the on the uh, expressway rather, and get some 40 mile an hour sections going. 
Uh, this one, it looked like we peaked around 77. We're going to do a sort of frame by frame comparison when we uh, put the videos together. Anyway, we'll uh, meet back up with you here at 40 miles an hour. All right, we are on the road now, cruise set to 40, and we're going to get some testing going. Okay, that looks like it was holding pretty steady around 60. I think the difference between this vehicle at 40 and the, the, the Ram is there's a little bit less suspension noise, I think, which is to be expected in a heavy duty, but the overall cabin quietness might actually be a little better in the Ram. We'll have to take a closer look once we get back and uh, review the results. Okay, we're here with the hood open. We're gonna rev it up to highway speed, 2200 RPM, and see how much of that uh, cabin you know, how much of that cabin sound deadening filters out the engine noise. Okay, looks like we peaked around 78. Let's hop back and see what the exhaust is. Since he's got two pipes, we'll go in the middle, about three feet back. Okay, looks like we're peaking around 71. Let's uh, hop over and do the same with the, uh, the Cummins. All right, we did have one final idea. We wanted to rev it to highway speeds at steady state just sitting in the driveway sort of filter out any kind of suspension noises or surrounding noises just to see how much the cabin filters out from the engine noise so we'll go ahead and get the sound meter going all right and go for it okay looks like we're right around 52 um, on that test so from outside where we're up in the high 70s to 52 inside, the sound deadening is pretty good in here, um, you know, if we're just sitting in the driveway. Let's uh, hop over to the Ram now. All right, guys, we're out here now at the Cummins. We're going to take a look and see how loud this is when we rev it to 20, or sorry, uh, 1600, which is highway speeds. So go ahead and walk over and get, uh, get going on this test. So that was quite a bit louder at 83. Remember the Mazda was 77, somewhere in there. And the tailpipe, here we go. Okay, looks like we peaked around 78. So again, quite a bit lighter, louder than the Mazda. Let's hop in. Okay, we're in the Cummins now. We're not moving. We're going to take a look and see exactly how loud it is when we rev this up to 1600. All right, looks like 53. So uh, go ahead and shut it off. We're done here and we'll go back and sort of compare everything um, once we finish editing all this. All right, guys, we are back home now, back in the driveway. Uh, I've had a chance to look through the data, and uh, the results are interesting um, for a couple reasons. First, I'm going to go through the data of the on-road sort of driving numbers, and then we'll look at the just the engine idling in the, in the driveway at highway speeds. And look at those numbers. They're a little bit different. So um, without further ado, we'll go into the Ram first. That one, I'm, first of all, I'm just going to go through the averages in the video. I've got, you know, the average, the max, and the mode for everybody who cares. I'm just going to sort of summarize and recap the averages right now. Um, the Ram at freeway speeds was 61.6 um, decibels, so pretty good. Uh, that's at 70 miles an hour again. The Mazda, uh, a bit higher at 70, so from 61.6 to 70. Uh, for anyone who's not aware, decibel scales are logarithmic, so an increase from 60 to 61 is much smaller than an increase from 69 to 70. So um, 70 is quite a bit higher than 61. 
Um, so I think, you know, Ram takes a cake there for the highway 70 mile an hour um, driving test, which surprising for me given it's a heavy duty truck, but um, also not that surprising considering how luxurious everyone says the interior here is, and I agree with them, it's, it's incredibly quiet. And this just, uh, you know, continues to prove that. At 40 miles an hour, it's a lot more even. Um, the Ram came in at nearly the same. Instead of 61.6 on the highway, it was 61.7, slightly louder. So what that tells me is the road noise is about the same um, as getting into the cabin from outside. Um, you know, it filters it out pretty consistently. The only thing that's changing is the noise from the interior, which is, you know, any kind of rattle that the you know sound meter picks up. So between 40 and 70, there's not really any change in the Ram. Big change, however, in that Mazda we were testing. Um, a lot of road noise getting in at highway speeds up to 70 decibels. 40 miles an hour, it was only 61.4. So 40 miles an hour, the Ram and the Mazda are exactly the same, pretty much. Now, um, going sort of changing gears now, going back to the test we did in the driveway, we revved the engine up to idle, um, or not to idle, we revved the engine up to highway speeds, um, you know, mirroring what the tack showed, and uh, just measured the sound at the engine bay, the tailpipe, and then in the cab to see how much of the engine noise got filtered out by the sound deadening. Um, you know, that we were removing any kind of extraneous variables like road quality, road noise. Um, and that was, uh, I think, fairly consistent as well. Um, the engine for the Ram at uh, highway revs uh, was 82.1 decibels, so um, fairly loud given it's a Cummins diesel. The Mazda quieter is 77.3, um, again, as expected. Um, at the tailpipe, pretty much the same deal. Ram was louder, 76.9, Mazda 70.7. Uh, but where it really counts is on the inside of the vehicle. The, uh, the Mazda came in at 52.2 decibels, so that's from 77 at the engine and 70 at the tailpipe, down to 52 inside. The, uh, the Ram, 82 at the engine, 77 at the tailpipe, 53.4 inside, so it takes quite a lot more noise from the engine and filters it out. Remember, the engine's louder, quite a bit louder than the Mazda, yet the inside is, is within 0.8 decibels of the Mazda, so um, I think from this test I can take away that Ram has really done quite a good job with their sound deadening in the cab. So anybody who's looking at Rams, um, I, I can't speak to other trucks. I haven't done this test on you know a Ford or a GMC or a Chevy. Um, but anybody who's looking at, at Rams, take, a, take away from this test that their sound deadening is really, really, really good for, especially I think for a, a truck. Um, and in this instance, it, it beats out what we'll call our typical um, passenger car. Um, so if you found any of this useful, if you want to see more stuff like this, similar to it, uh, send me a, uh, a message down below, like the video, and uh, subscribe for more. Uh, turn notifications on, and uh, we'll be back uh, probably next week or the week after with some more uh, install videos.